Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Rad, welcome to Radko Tarot and uh, this is going to be Taurus and Taurus Moon and uh, Taurus Rising, a weekly tarot reading, general that uh, general one for uh, April 8th to April 14th, 2019. And as I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you that as a general reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different topics and is going to resonate as well in a, a different way with uh, every single different uh, Taurus. For that reason, uh, I will try in this video to explain you the meanings of the cards, as well their synergy in the spread, and we'll give you a few examples uh, to make my uh, points more clearer across. But ultimately, um, for maximum accuracy, you will have to tie the reading with your personal situation. Now, if you want your personal situation uh, to be analyzed by me through tarot cards and to um, basically predict its future uh, for you, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And uh, there you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings, which are starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. So that set aside, going to the general um, <clears throat> weekly reading for Taurus, the first card that we do have, which is marking the topic for Taurus this week, that is going to be the Seven of Swords. Followed by the second card, which is the negative approach toward the situation that is going to be the uh, judgment. Third card, which is, which is describing the uh, positive approach toward the situation, that will be the Eight of Cups. And the last one, that it is the positive outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot. This will be the Six of Swords. So once again, we do have the Seven of Swords followed by the judgment after that we do have the eight of cups and the last one that uh, marks the final outcome of growth that is to be the six of swords so a pretty interesting reading um immediately when i drew all the cards i kind of know the two tauruses are to detach basically to uh, make a an noxious tie, uh, an noxious string severance in this week. Uh, you are likely to recognize uh, a places and as well situations which you have no place anymore in uh, for a good reason that is, and uh, you are to demand your uh, your. Uh, it's kind of like an ex escape or, or or a way out, if I may express myself that way. So the topic itself here, which is the Seven of Swords, it does expresses that one has in an extremely strong backbone, strong spine, uh, fighting for one's righteousness, for one's rights, and storming their situation in order to get what they truly need and what they truly deserve. It is with the Seven of Swords. Therefore, the week itself is not going to go out or away without any conflicts. Just on the contrary, the, more, the, the, the bigger the conflict is, the more benefits you can extract out of it. That is no different, for example, if you did a tremendous job for somebody and he doesn't want to pay you. Okay, So you have to escalate the conflict. Same thing here, it is with the Seven of Swords. Regarding to any kind of situation, you have been... Um, not appreciated into your relationship, you have to escalate the issue. Same thing goes for your career, but with the Seven of Swords as well, uh, you are to um, severance such kind of, a, it's not, it's behavior and as well a way of living where you are satisfied with being unappreciated. That is very common, you know, in one-sided relationships, for example, where one of the partners is just abusing the other and the other it is enduring that abuse just because they feel blessed and grateful for the opportunity to be with the other person. So that is going to be no more with the Seven of Swords. One is going to have a huge awakening, if you want to say it that way, realizing, you know, that they are way on the downside of that particular situation and from now on demanding what they have 
have been truly deserving or if that doesn't happen then one is to part ways with that situation finding a, a new better agenda to follow afterwards the accompanied card here that is going to be the uh, knights of pentacles so the formation it is a uh, active uh, active enemies and it is likely that with this uh, this card adds a shade where you are to find that the situation isn't as, as simple as you thought it is or it as it is was presented to you therefore many um many important details there were left unattended and from that recognizing that simply things cannot go the same way either into one's marriage into one's career one's friendship relationships and so on and so forth therefore here one needs to um, rely more on sophisticated approach toward the situation itself by once again storming it by uh, escalating and raising the issues and uh, not backing off of one's standpoint uh, with uh, the uh, with the knights of pentacles as the knight dictates passionate uh, passion compassion you know and as well uh, kind of like it's it's not determination but i'd say devotion here we are talking about devotion and, co and compassion toward oneself and not toward the situation itself meaning you shouldn't if your partner into your relationship is abusing you in any way with this card you should show no compassion nor solidarity toward them in this week unless they do not correct their you know kind of like behavior towards you so uh for you Tauruses, we are seeing uh, this week april 8th to april 14th where th basically people will no longer be able and capable to fool you around to boss you around and to abuse your kindness in any way it is because you are to like i said recognize that that is just putting you more on the downside rather than on the beneficial side which it is the side you belong to so uh, this leads us to the second card which is what you should not do regarding the situation that is the uh, judgment card and the judgment it is about union and reunion reconciliation and so on and so forth uh, but in this case it is a about uh, succumbing to a conditions which are uh, not in your favor that comes for any kind of situations for example signing a contract you know your uh, for example your boss could approach you to propose you a promotion and that is really exciting and thrilling but when you see the contract meh, it's kind of like it, it's the same thing like before just just with more uh, responsibilities on you that's why you have to start demanding for adequate payment for example and so on and so forth so it's not it, this card relates to not to succumb oneself to the conditions and criteria and the ultimatums of the others or of the situation itself but instead <clears throat> but instead um, putting a value over our performance over our emotions and over ourselves overall as a um, as a individual the judgment could also represent um, on a very poignant way that is that there is no way out simply and a one has to see a kind of like cut ties for good with uh, the situation that is uh, it could be once again marriage or or a um, or a career and so on and so forth now if that's the case uh, then uh, one should know that this was the um the maximum out the summit of this uh, of this situation itself and no no more than that could have been uh, could have been achieved any longer and if that's the case uh, this uh, realization that one has to break ties will come rather spontaneously suddenly is what i mean uh, with no warning whatsoever um, <clears throat> from one's thoughts or from one's emotions it's just it's no different than for example one uh, one morning you wake up and you decide that you don't love the man next to, uh, lying next to you or you don't love the woman lying next to you or you wake up and you re or you kind of like wake up with the, the uh, feeling and with determination that you don't you do not belong into this uh, working place and so on and so forth the accompanied card with the judgment that is going to be the uh, four of pentacles 
neutrals. So here the formation is active neutrals and all that is so you can ensure your stable and good future and to establish a good comfort zone for yourself. Take it as if you deserve more payments or bigger salary that is, especially if we're talking about career with these uh, cards and if you didn't have a promotion or a raise for a quite a long time these cards are a sign that it's it will take quite a long time until you have one in your current job but uh, if you do want to establish more successful and lucrative future for yourself you have to seriously think you know how you approach your boss and your in the situation in your career uh, in general and how much you uh, demand to be paid for your services there. Uh, well, I will put it simply here. These cards are pointing that the majority of you Tauruses are to uh, not just find out but realize that they are severely underpaid for the services that they are providing. What you're going to do about it, however, that is entirely up to you. Although the cards are pointing that you should rather storm the situation and start negotiating for a, a bigger salary if that's possible. If it is impossible, then maybe you will have to start searching for another job, which is to be much well paid. Uh, the next one that is going to be the um, what, how you should approach the situation. And the Eight of Cups could have couple of, uh, well, more than couple of interpretation, but I will go just with couple for the sake of keeping that video short, uh, short enough so people don't get bored. So the Eight of Cups ultimately points that you should um, strive for better perspectives in either way, which is what we talked about until this very moment. So you will have to, uh, for example, confront your boss and make them aware that if they don't raise your salary, you are you are going to start searching for another job or you will try to uh, incorporate yourself into a place with much better perspective. This card here is pointing that you do need change, but change in a way of one's lifestyle, lifestyle into one relationship, lifestyle into one career as well. Therefore, even if the current situation is uh, rather un unpleasant, you know, and unsatisfiable, it is what I would say, uh, one should, uh, how can I place it? One should be determined to seek for more because more is coming just behind the corner here. If one is willing and ready, you know, to cut ties, should one do not get what one deserves. Simply put with the um, Eight of Cups. So you do need fresh wind, okay? And that fresh wind only can be achieved once again with your determination and readiness to storm your situation so you can ask for what you have been owed. Simply put, if you don't ask for something that you want, the answer always is going to be no and there, will, there won't be a, a right moment for you to ask for. There is always something that will cause predicaments for you. So, so basically it's, it's the same way, for example, um, proposing, there is no right moment, I imagine, to propose someone. It's just you do it and that's that. So it's what you gotta do here. If for the situations, Tauruses, which you feel that you are severely mistreated, uh, undervalued, you know, and misplaced as well. The accompanied card of the Eight of Cups, this is going to be the Emperor here. And formation is uh, passive, uh, passive enemies. So it seems that this uh, this approach of yours is going to severely disrupt this disrupt. Excuse me, the construct the conf the comfortability of those which are uh, mistreating you in any way. You know, is going to severely disrupt the comfortability of your supervisor, for example, because they were comfortable until right now, or from your boss. Uh, they were paying you less and they were getting way too much, you know, but now as you demand a bigger payment, you know, that is making them quite uncomfortable. They have to figure out another way to cut their losses or rather to cut corners somewhere else, maybe with a coworker of yours, uh, maybe with a budget of project. That is not your concern. It is what these cards are pointing. The more you prone to sustain the comf the comfortability of someone else, the more um, despondency you are going to experience with these cards, and the more you are prolonging the uh, the better perspective, which is to emerge for you sooner than later. 
same thing goes for your relationship as a matter of fact you know your partner may start abusing you emotionally saying that they uh, they are feeling very miserable you know with these with such conditions uh, saying that they cannot stand any longer and so on and so forth or simply approaching you with the words how can you do this to me you know which is the the cliche here uh, in our world but you can say the same thing for yourself you know are you not feeling despondent until this very moment how they could do this to you and so on and so forth what my point here with these guys uh, with this card with these cards guys is that you should not sacrifice your com comfortability and your well-being for the well-being and the comfortability of someone else unless this is not a child of yours because children always makes exception but we're not talking about children here and the last card, which is the final outcome of growth uh, for you Tauruses, this is going to be the Six of Swords. So this card points that the whole process is going to be very scary. That is because, you know, you are to abandon a, a, a positions where you are somewhat secure even being on the downside. Giving you straight away an example, you know, you are in abusive in a uh, one-sided relationship, which you are not the side there, you know. But at least you were in a relationship, you know, being in a way underpaid job, but at least you got a job. OK, so that's why the thing is going to seem very, very scary for you to approach it by storming the situation, fighting for your for your own rights and uh, simply showing that you do have a strong backbone and you are ready to fight with 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 iron and fire, you know, for your well-being. But should you initiate the process here and follow the advice of Taro, not being a yielding of the conditions and being open to compromise, that is going to put you on the downside. And uh, as well, you know, being uh, open for better perspectives, regardless of what people related to your situation are going to try to present to you, then you are going to realize that there is in reality nothing that you have to be afraid of because when you open your eyes, you are to understand that everything else is better than this. It's better than being into one side relationship. It's better to be abused by uh, your wife or by your husband. It's better to be underpaid in your job. OK, and that will force you to make very brave steps here with the Six of Swords to improve drastically your circumstances, starting for searching for another job, associating yourself with different people from where, you know, new suitor can come up. I mean, the opportunities with the Six of Swords are enormous. Uh, and whatever opportunity that is, it does shows that this is going to be something brand, brand new. So you should not be afraid to uh, abandon and... Um, basically puts a severance into the um, disadvantageable positions in your life, either positions into one career or either positions into one relationship. The accompanied card here that is going to be the Ace of Swords, the uh, formation, it is a active supporters and further the Ace of Swords supports the determination and the uh, courage. I would have said heroism, uh, but yeah, it's the courage where one is going to be uh, truly determined to improve their circumstances, whatever the cost is or whatever it takes, it, because the cost is not going to be anything material here. But it's more like the tenacity that one needs to incorporate into their strategies to chase their better perspective. Additionally to that, um, the more you stand for yourself here throughout the week, the more you are going to realize, you know, how slumber you were or smothered you were back in the past. And with these cards, it is very, very unlikely that you will allow anybody else to put you in the same situation in the future or any circumstances to corner you in a such way once again uh, simply uh tauruses it does look like that you do have a, a big lesson to learn and that is one fundamental one that if you don't take care for your own happiness and for your own um success you know and comfortability no one else will i mean everybody will use you in a way that makes them feel comfortable because this is how life is structured 
So that being said, guys, this was your weekly tarot reading for April 8th to April 14th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, as a general reading for Taurus, this reading itself is going to relate to different topics and is going to resonate and manifest itself in a different way with every single different Tauruses because you are different from one another and you are experiencing different situations at this time, 8th of April to uh, April 14th. So if you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me and to predict its future for you, using tarot cards that is a subject of a private reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as 12 dollars for the recorded readings services and 15 dollars for the private call reading services rat signing up now see you next time bye